Okay, we live in the middle of nowhere, you know, in the United States of America. We bought from New York, myself and my husband, and we recently moved here about 20, 18 months ago, going to 20 months. My husband keep telling his family members that he does not live in the country. I say I live in the country because most of our neighbors have got huge, massive land, you know, like 300 hectares, 500 hectares of land when other people have no, nothing, no land. And some people, they don't want to move into the country because they are stuck in New York with those high rises. Guys, move in the country, there's space, you know? Propose to the farm owners to sell you a bit of land. Move to the country. Let's stop squeezing ourselves in these huge metropolitan and cos cosmopolitan cities. You know, this is where we live, it's quiet, but when we want to shop or when we want to go to another state, we drive to New York, to Texas, to Chicago, name it, we take a train. So you guys, look at this, huge houses, look at this. Look at that, look at that. Huge, beautiful houses. Look at that. There's life here too. At least you are not squeezing and you're not paying rent, you know? It's not good to keep making other people's rich. Rent, 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 rent from the time you're a teenager. You know, until we're getting old, rent, rent, rent is not a thing. Check out this. Check out. This is our neighborhood. This is our neighborhood. It's starting to rain. This is our neighborhood. I just want you guys to see. This is our neighborhood. You know, this is Empress and King Charles. You know, you guys need to think of moving out from this big uh, cosmopolitan, you know. All you need is a car. You first need a car to move here. There's no public transport. The public transport is very seldom, you know. You have to have a special permit, especially for all those people who are disabled. They need a permit so that the bus can come and catch them from their home. But there's land here, there's space, okay? All right, I'm showing you where we live. This is where we live. <clears throat> That's somebody we know's farm, a guy we know. He owns that massive land there, that farm there, Joseph. And he owns massive, uh, you know, animals, you know, domestic animals, he lives there. He owns this huge farm. He owns like almost 300 and something hectares. Check out this. <coughs> Check out this. This is where we live. It has started to rain. It's drizzling now. This is where we live, you know? I just want you guys to have a heads up. You don't need to get stuck in these massive, you know, massive uh, states. City. Go Cities. Go out, you know? Move out. Have a breathe. Get your retirement. Now that with the coronavirus, get your retirement, your package. Find a house and buy cash. You know, you save a lot when you do that. You save the headaches of monthly uh, mortgages. You know, get your package. You know, apply so that you can be approved. Get what is what you deserve. Move out from those cities where you have headaches, squeezing each other, fighting on the train. Oh, you stepped on me or on the bus. In New York, we always take trains. You know, transport is not a problem. But the living, stand, the living standards aren't good at all for nobody. Either, either you are African or you are American born, Caucasian, whatever color. In New York, it's a matchbox lifestyle. You know? I, I'm just letting you know. They're opening a new gas station here three houses from our home oh, wow. actually this used to be a gas station before and our neighbor used to own it he sold it now and they are they are, they are renovating it you know yeah so this is our home this is our home you see so the shit which i pick here is the dog shit 
Hi. Hi. Make sure the dog does, doesn't shit, sweetheart, okay? Huh? Make sure the dog does not leave shit. Okay. Please, okay? Yeah. Okay. I've been cleaning shit around here. Anyway, guys, we are home. This is our home. Our sweet, sweet, sweet home. We are home now. I'm driving in our driveway. You know, our home, we're still making renovation, but it's our home. You know, we wake up, we don't have to worry about the mortgage. You know, we're still doing renovation slowly, we're getting there, and we have enough space. We have a swimming pool, two massive garage, and we can have like, you know, like eight cars to 10 cars back in our yard, inside our yard. So we good. All the best, Empress and and Empress and look here. King Charles. Look at this man. Empress and show me the five. Empress and okay. All the best. Love